Pisces, welcome to your reading. Thank you for being here with me today. We're going to be looking into your next couple of days, so next 48 hours, what's coming up for you that you need to know. I'll be using three different decks. And um, before I begin, I just wanted to say if anyone was after a private reading, please feel free to email me. I am currently accepting those. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be lovely. Also, if anyone out there wants to become a channel member to get member-only content and access to extended readings, please feel free to join with the home um, on the home page with the join button. Um, also, I've got the link below, so in the description box, if you wanted to join, all the information is there. Okay, let's have a look, Pisces. Okay, could be Cancer's coming up here. A lot of reversals on that. On that top row. Pisces, I see a lot of you saying goodbye to the past, a past connection. I feel like it was very back and forth and it wasn't working from you. I feel like you had a vision or a plan to end up with this person, but the way things are right now, I see a lot of you putting a big, a big ending to this chapter. It's emotional. It's a very emotional ending. I feel like there's there's nothing left you can give. Okay, definitely loss around you. We've got the magician. You're not going to be alone for long though. I see someone else is going to come into the picture here romantically. They're going to be hovering around you, but they may not offer you a relationship per se. It could be more physical, uh, but I feel like... Or I see you like telling this person, no, I don't want a relationship. I just came out of something. So I don't think you're going to be single for long once you walk away from this chapter. There could be an Aries, a Cancer, or a Libra that comes up around you and wants a relationship. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing you grieving, Pisces. You, my poor little Pisces. Okay, I see you going, you're going through these feelings. It's a process. Remember that. Be patient with yourself. I do see you moving on. The tower card is reversed. You're going to have a lot less drama in your life moving away from this relationship. It might have been toxic, but the tower, I feel like this person or this relationship really took a lot out of you. And breaking up or ending this has been really hard. Okay. So... You've got the king of swords i do feel like someone here is going to help you through this i'm getting someone's checking up on you i don't know if it's this person they may be checking up on you to see if you're okay if you need anything so obviously they still care and the moon has come up twice so they do care the moon is like a motherly kind of energy so it could even be like this person's mother is reaching out to you to ask if you're okay that's kind of sweet and it might be like this person that you ended things with tells their family and then their mother goes and like messages you on Facebook or Messenger or just sends you a text and says, hey, like I heard what happened. I hope you're okay. So-and-so really misses you. Like you obviously had a really big impact in this person's life. And I feel like they had a really big impact in yours as well. But I just feel like with, if this was up, it just... Something could have recently happened that was the tower moment and it was like the last thing that really solidified to you that you no longer can do this back and forth energy. Could have been a long distance connection maybe. Four of Pentacles, I, I feel like I'm, this is someone saying I can't do this anymore, I can't, I can't hold on like this anymore. It's either the distance that broke you up or it was just too much back and forth. I also get like someone's someone's feeling lonely or someone felt lonely in this connection and they had to end it, Pisces. But to be honest, I think you're if you're going separate ways and you're both grieving, you're both not going to be alone for very long. I feel like there's other people that are going to come into the picture. But to be honest, I don't know if both your hearts are going to be in it to give your souls away to new people. You might entertain it, you know, you might just sort of check it out, dip your toe in the pool a little bit, you know, hop on that dating app, uh, see what everyone's about, you know, see what it's like these days. You might have been out of the dating game for a while and you might go on a few dates here and there. But to be honest, I don't see your heart in it. Uh, I feel like it could just be for like conversation. And you might meet someone that's just really good to talk to. And you know, it might not even end up being romantic. You could just end up being friends with this person. 
but they they may help you through with the six of swords they're a good speaker so i'm picking up an air sign and i feel to be honest i think what you're going to get from it is friendship more than anything else but you're going to be okay with that uh whilst that person might be attracted to you and, and really like you they'll respect the boundaries you have in place and they won't you know they're not going to press you for anything more so that's why i feel like it could be a really good friendship because this person i think you're just genuinely going to connect and they even might be going through something similar and you could help each other out out of these tower moments together cutting ties could be a libra but the justice card is reversed there's inequality or unfairness could be that one of you is doing worse than the other one of you is handling it better than the other and for some reason i think Pisces, I think it might be you. You might be handling this better than they are. So if you think you're a mess, you should see them. But you just, you have it in your head, you have it in your heart that you need to move on. I think it might have even been something you ended a long time ago, but it's just been so back and forth. Like there's still been unsaid things and there's still been uh, sexual tension or there's still been some a wave of nostalgia that's come over you so there's still been some sort of lingering things that have happened between you and them hence why I feel like you hold you held on for so long but I think now it's like I'm getting it's a clear-cut breakup like it's a clear-cut grieving process like I don't think you're even talking to this person they may or may not message you like I said to sort of check in and that's going to be their way of seeing like they're curious, right? They want to know how you're coping, what you're doing. To be honest, I don't think you're going to reveal much and that's probably going to make their anxiety worse. I feel like you'll say, yeah, I'm moving on. I'm doing this. I'm connecting with friends. I'm, you know, uh, whatever here. But you're not going to give them too much with the Queen of Pentacles because on some level, you don't feel like they, they deserve to know what you've been doing with their life. You know, they might have hurt you. I think this was a karmic connection and karmic connections are the worst. They literally eat us up alive because there's so much pain and hurt that has to happen for us to learn lessons. And it's just so, so powerful to go through something like that. And it's super, super painful. So just be easy with yourself here and know that, okay, yeah, it was a lesson. It's not always an endings for good. You may still be in contact with this person in the future, but I think for now, it's for the both of you for this lesson to really sink in. And so you both know why you came into each other's lives. Okay, so some massive epiphanies that could happen, I think, for you in these next couple of uh, days. Okay, uh, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I love you forever. And also to like this video. Uh, and hopefully we'll be in touch very soon. So take it easy, Pisces. I'm keeping you in my thoughts. And until next time, bye for now.